What's up, y'all? Welcome to today's video. Uh, we are going to be doing something really, really exciting. Uh, not really exciting, but just kind of cool. We're going to be making a Zupa Toscana soup. Macro friendly, of course. Um, so I've been on a, what is it, like a little soup kick lately, thanks to Neil. Um, yeah, she's been introducing me to soup. I never really ate soup before. Um, so it's been cool. I've had like butternut squash, chicken, chicken tortilla soup. Uh, so those were really, really good. And I was on, I don't know, what was it, Instagram the other day, and I saw a Zupa Toscana soup. And I've had that before. If you know it's popular, it's from like Olive Garden. Um, so it's pretty fire. Um, but it's really fatty and uh, can be have a lot of carbs too. So I'm going to put a little magic in. i put my own spin on it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a macro-friendly version. So really, really excited to get to that. But yeah, I just went to Trader Joe's. Got all the ingredients, got all the stuff. So I try to get everything from Trader Joe's. So if you just go to your, you know, your local Trader Joe's, you can go and get all the stuff. But yeah, uh, if you want to like go to other stores, you can, but just kind of make the substitutes. Yeah, accordingly. <laughs> but yeah, so going to be doing this uh, recipe video and go through the process, entire process. It's my first time doing it. I've never tried it. So hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> Don't blame me. I've got this from online. Uh, just a combination of re recipes, but yeah, let's see how it turns out. Rio says hi. Rio. Hey. Oh, he's tired. Yeah, over here in the Bay Area, it's kind of gloomy. Weather's kind of ass right now. So yeah, nothing better than, you know, during winter time to have some a nice bowl of soup. So going to get that started. But yeah, I hope y'all been good. I haven't been making a lot of, uh, I've been doing kind of like vlog stuff of just of my life and stuff. So we're going to get back into the, the fitness nutrition aspect that, you know, I'm put you guys on. Um, so yeah, we'll get more workouts, more like recipe videos and you and you. Yeah. Rio says, let's go. Let's try this soup. Let's get to it. Welcome back. All right, guys. So we got all the stuff that we're going to be using, you know, for this soup, you will need a crock pot, um, like a bigger one. So go ahead and go fucking buy one of those if you don't have it. But what we're gonna need is, this is some kale. I'm gonna chop that up a little bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna use, but I'll kind of measure it out in terms of weight uh, that I use. And then we got some chicken broth. Um, traditional like Zupa just kind of soup, all the recipes that I saw did use like heavy cream. Um, so that's a little bit more fatty. Obviously it brings out that flavor, but I found a good substitute. If you watch my butter chicken recipe, go, go tune in, I'll put the, the link right here. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, heavy cream, that substitute I used was half and half, which did the job just as, much, uh, just as well and lowered that fat content uh, a lot. So half and half uh, is my substitute. Got one yellow onion, gonna dice this up. Hopefully I don't cry, I don't really dice it. So I'll show you my knife work uh, with the onion. Then in, other, in like traditional Zupa just kind of soup, they use potatoes. So I got, I'll probably use maybe like 150 grams to 200 grams of potatoes just to get some carbs. Um, but if you don't want to, what I'm going to try as well is using cauliflower. So I saw on a video in, uh, on Instagram, there was a uh, Fred Warner, you know, San Francisco 49ers linebacker, his, his wife, uh, she put cauliflower as a substitute for the, the potatoes as to make it like a lower carb option. option. Um, so I'm gonna try that, um, see how it goes. I'll kind of, I'll probably do half potatoes, half cauliflower and, you know, see, see how that works. And then, the main thing that you need in, you know, a Zupa Toscana soup is some sort of sausage. Uh, so I, I look for like the lowest fat, you know, highest protein sausage that sausage that I, I can't fucking speak, um, sausage uh, at Trader Joe's. And this is the one I found, the sweet Italian chicken sausage. So usually they just use an Italian sausage. So <laughs> sausage. So we'll see how this sweet Italian one, you know, turns out. Hopefully it's not too sweet and doesn't mess up the fucking soup. So we'll try this one. The macros on these are honestly fire. So five servings per container for, and one, ser one serving is a link. It's three and a half grams of fat, one carb, 17 grams of protein. So you're looking at, I'm gonna put all five of these in. Um, what I'll have to do is cut the, cut the casing out and then brown it. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that. So use that. And then another thing that I saw as an option, um, they have a, Trader Joe's has a bunch of chicken sausages and you can use any one of those if you want like based on your preference. But they also have these like ch chicken breakfast sausages. Um, so you can do the same thing, take off the casing. These ones have really good macros as well. 
Uh, probably for these ones, you'll probably have to season it up yourself. You know, put a bunch of like Italian sausage seasoning in it, but you can do that as well. So there's all this stuff together. So I'm gonna start off by like cutting up my onion and then uh, decasing the sausage and then I'm gonna brown the meat and all that, get that cooked up and then I'm gonna put it into the crock pot. But yeah, let's just start doing this. Let's, let's get it started. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, guys, I got my onions diced up. I do not know how to ice, ice, dice onions, um, but we got it done. However long it took, it took a long time, don't ask me. Uh, I decased, decased the sausages. Um, so what I found that helped, because I was trying to use a knife, just use some shears um, and do it much, much easier. So I'm gonna put this all together. I got my pan on, I'm gonna saute the onions and then let them loosen up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the sausage on and then get to the next step. All right guys, so as the, the meat and uh, onion are browning up, we're gonna go ahead and cut you know, our potatoes and cauliflower. So I measured out this potato, it's about like 100, 150 grams of potato. We got about 300 grams of cauliflower. So this will be lower, very low carb, but we'll see if, you know, if we even need the potato after I taste it. So I'm gonna go ahead and like chop this up. Um, for the cauliflower, I'm gonna try to chop it up as kind of the same size as the potato, kind of so it gives it that you know similar taste and doesn't mess up because this will soften up, you know, once it cooks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you, you know, kind of what we're gonna throw into the crock pot uh, all at once. All right, so this is how fine I cut the cauliflower and potatoes. So really, really small, as you can see. I uh, just want to show you guys, and this is kind of like the consistency I brown the meat. Welcome back. All right, guys, so we got our crock pot here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put everything in here. So I got my meat uh, mixture with, or the, basically the ground chicken, the ground up like sausage. Oh, also pro tip, I don't know if I mentioned this, but try to make it as small as possible. Like, like make it really, really, really fine. So you gotta break it up uh, pretty good. So put some work into it, put your arm into it and uh, make it really, really fine. Uh, so go ahead and throw this in the crock pot. Kind of go ahead and like throw in the, all the cauliflower and potato. Just gonna use my thing to mix it up a little bit. And then all we're gonna add now is the like the chicken broth. So you need about four cups chicken broth. So basically one of these. So let's shake that up. And what we're gonna do is gonna let this cook uh, on high for five hours, and then. At about the four hour mark, we're gonna, you know, cut up the, the, the kale and then put that in. And then after another 30 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and uh, add in the half and half and let that simmer for about 30, 30 minutes. So go ahead and add all this in. I am gonna top it off with um, a little bit of like uh, salt, black pepper, and some uh, red chili flakes. So just about a little bit of salt. You can add more after, but I'm just gonna put this in now, and then uh, if I want it, add add to taste, you know. A little bit of black pepper. I like my shit spicy, so we'll see. Uh, Maybe that's too much, but we'll see. But yeah, gonna go ahead and do this, and then I can go ahead and put this on, ready to cook, and then we'll come back and add all the other shit. Welcome back guys. All right, so it's been about give or take four hours, um, which is kind of what the recipe said for letting the sausage, cauliflower, chicken broth all kind of come together. So it's been about four hours now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the kale, so I go rinse my kale. As, I, as you may have watched in my earlier videos, go wash your fucking vegetables and fruits. So I did that. Um, so this one already came pre like pre-cut. All you have to do is kind of like remove the stems. Um, so go ahead and do that. Or if you want to buy that one, buy it. It's really convenient. It's already cut. You just get to get the stems. Uh, so I got about 125 grams of kale. I don't know if that's enough or if that's too much, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then I know I said previously that we're going to, you know, let this 
put the kale in, let it simmer for 30 minutes, and then add the half and half after. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the half and half in here at the same time. I uh, just don't wanna wait. <laughs> and I think it should be okay. Uh, letting it sit or let it simmer all together for longer should be okay in my opinion, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll, we'll see if it, it works. So I'm just gonna throw these both in there, let it sit for maybe an hour, a little over an hour, and then give you the taste test, baby. But yeah, let me go ahead and do this and then hopefully in the next clip, it's ready. All right guys, so I just popped the lid off. Uh, it's been simmering for, you know, hour and a half um, after we put in that kale in half and half. Go ahead and give it a little mix. Oh yeah, tell me that don't look good. So go ahead and give it this mix. I'm gonna pour some out in a bowl and we'll get the taste test, but this shit looking really, really good. Let me zoom in there. It's getting a little steamy, but make sure I got real good. What are you doing? Making noise. But yeah, this is soup. Looking fire. Welcome back, guys. The moment you guys have all been waiting for. Uh, the taste test. Let's see how this sh shit tastes. Um, can go ahead and just... Damn, I can't get it, but let me give you a th thumbnail. But yeah, gonna go ahead and uh, give this a little taste. I let, it, I let it cool down for a little bit, but can go ahead and mix this up. So, <laughs> I forgot to let you guys know, or I think I did, but I haven't really tasted this soup in like a very, very long time. So I'm just gonna give a, a taste on how, let me see how I can put it, on just if I would eat it again uh, out of 10, and then I'll have other people try it and then maybe we'll get a reaction video, or you can just kind of make the recipe yourself and give it a shot yourself, you know? So let's go ahead, I think it's cooled down a little bit, but get a nice bite. That's good. The sausage, really, really good. You, it's not really that sweet at all. It goes really well, well with it. Uh, let me get a piece of cauliflower. Dude, this fire, man. Cauliflower. It like melts in your mouth. It's like very, very soft. Can't even notice the difference with it and the potato. So cauliflower, dude, game changer. Throw that in the soup instead of potatoes. Um, if you want a lower carb option and it tastes just as good as in my opinion. But I'll give this like eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half out of 10. Yeah, the soup is really good. And also very, very voluminous, uh, good for satiety. <laughs> Um, no, sati it's very satiating. So very good if you're, you know, trying to find a diet hack. Cause like I said, I've made all the substitutes. It's low carb, lower fat with the sausage used half and half. So we made all the right substitutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the macros on the screen here, uh, for the full recipe. I'll put the whole recipe in the comments, but yeah, guys, go ahead and give this a try. Um, yeah, eight and a half, kind of like a nine out of 10. I'm going to probably, this is going to be really good. I'm waiting for, um, my brother and, uh, and Ari to try this, um, and then Neil, you, you can try it too, but really, really good. Um, I think I'm gonna create a soup series, guys. So this is uh, episode one of the soup series, uh, macro-friendly soups. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give this a try. Really, really good. I enjoyed it, I'm gonna finish this bowl. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the whole video. Hope it was easy to follow and the recipe is super, super simple. Um, get a crock pot, all the ingredients from Trader Joe's. So super, super easy. Um, yeah, go ahead and give this a try and uh, let me know down in the comments if you liked it. And don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe if, you enjoy, if you're enjoying the content. Um, it means a lot. And see you in the next video.